So this will 100% earn you fast gold coins and the reason being is these are items people need to craft better items which they then sell for even more money. Yet people don't like running about farming for these as they're quite hard to come by if you don't know uh, where to farm them. And it's people like us that do that keep this marketplace running and that is it people that's how we make our gold how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe now i will state and i say and i will say this on every single guide i post when it comes to making that gold coin check the prices on your server before following this guide or any guide into making fast gold if prices ain't worth it don't bother okay so essences are used for quite a few things but mainly they are used to cut gems the better gems any kind of gem which then are used on weapons and armor for certain boosts so these are things people are always going to need the thing is if you don't know a certain farm or route to take to farm these then it can take ages to actually craft said gem and that is why just 99 percent of people out there just go ahead and buy them instead and that's why prices are good for them now you also need to be a level 75 on the arcane repository bench uh, to make the most out of this so you can craft those essences too or if you ain't have a friend do it for you but either way you can still sell the most for profit which we will be farming today as this run i will show you will take you about an hour to do so once you get it down about 45 minutes but it will see you if all moats are there to farm you'll easily see over a thousand moats here easily guys now i simply listed mine for around a 10 at each just undercutting the lowest selling option i could probably have got 12 13 for these and mine sold more or less instantly i think it took about five minutes and they were all gone the thing is these things respawn back pretty quickly so this route can just keep repeating over and over for a whole day and you'll earn thousands of gold guys so this route starts off here north of Cutlass Keys, where we head in this one direction. But then we eventually turn back on ourselves, and the way I termed it means by the time we reach that certain point we've marked, the ones we already farmed will have respawned. And we do this before we head in another direction where tons more are. Now we'll warn you, some of the areas we farm are pretty popular ones. So they may not all be here but i play on one of the busy servers and even for me most were still here it just goes to show many people ain't really interested in farming these and would rather buy them but yeah guys follow the route i take on screen now and get those moats then either sell them as they are turn them into wisps or essences and there is a massive profit to be made here people now as this route goes on i will cut back into the video and tell you what we are doing but i will leave you now to watch this route and i hope it helps you out if it does leave a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next video
So from this point here guys, we're going to make our way back, follow our steps back the way we just come towards out the gate uh, following obviously sticking next to the water because some of the ones uh, you may have missed if they've already been farmed may have respawned if not it's probably too soon for most of the ones you've just farmed to have respawned but this is the route we're going to take before we start a new path and a new route to farm even more of these things so make your way up to out the gate where i mark on the map right here and follow the route i take from here
Also, it's logical that when you get near water, follow the water all the way to the point I've marked on the map within Elder Gate because, like I said, some of these may have respawned like you see they've respawned for me. So you may as well harvest them again.
from here guys continue following the route I take obviously just stick next to this river as some of the watercress may have respawned for you so just follow the river to the point I mark on the map picking up all watercress that have respawned for you 